What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your dude at Fridge Tube, and normally on Saturdays I would do new product reveals, but I couldn't get my hands on the new premium collection box or the ultimate premium collection box. I am going to try today while you guys see this video while I'm working. I'm going to try to get one. And if I do, you'll see a video next Saturday uh, with details on how I got it. So you might be able to do it too in your local area. But what we have here today, this is a very small box. This is from Beckett. <clears throat> now, I don't, I never did Beckett before. And uh, I wanted to try them. And after going to them, I wasn't the biggest fan. What is this? Becky grading, sir. Uh, this feels like... Oh, this is one card. Are they all like that? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. So. I sent six cards. One, two, three, four, five. So this must be the sixth. Um... I don't know what the grades are. I don't know what the colors are. Uh, it looks like the rest of them are... So I know you can tell from the back of them. So this is going to be the first one that's going to help us. I might take it out and use this as like a thing to block it off every time. These are all Rayquaza cards. I sent these in very confidently thinking that I had a potential black label. Or at least a 10. I looked at these thoroughly. I was very confident. What's up, buddy? Do you want to say hi to the camera? He's bugging me because he wants me to sit down and pet him. But I'm recording. Let's let's say hi to him first. Meow. You guys want to say hi? Want to say hi? I don't normally do this. Actually, I've been doing this more and more. Mainly because he bothers me. Say hi. Say hi. Okay, don't say hi. He's like, the hell you doing, man? All right, so um, obviously I want a 10 or black label. But realistically, from what I've heard, Beckett is the harshest grading. So I'm probably going to go with 9s and 9.5s for the rest of these. I'm thinking realistically here. Ooh, a 9.5. Wow. 10 on corners, 10 on surface, edges. And the centering is a nine. Um, okay. So. Okay. Okay. Okay, Beckett. Okay. <clears throat> the back better be off by a lot for this to be a nine. <laughs> How'd this get a nine? Uh, how'd they get a nine centering? No, that, that centering shouldn't be a 9. I do like how Beckett slobs these. So we're going we're gonna to put that here. What is this? Grading services. I, I don't... Oh, these are all just cool little things. I thought this was like a special thing. I don't know this. Hold on with this. Oh, this is... This was uh, the prices I spent. And how much I spent on the entire thing. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is all garbage to me, okay? But this thing we can use. I don't know what the hell this is. We can use this to, to block the cards. <clears throat> when we pick them up. That's all garbage. I don't even know what I'm... I don't even care. I don't even care. So, silver. I think silvers are nines. Eight fives are nines. Okay, that's... That's that's okay. These are the ones I cared the most about, so I'm curious. Again, centering. The centering... Is not eight five. This centering... Is not eight five centering. That's nine centering. Not even. That's like, that's ridiculous. 
I am happy that er I could have been nine five. All it had to do was have the nine cent. Back it. Back it. Normally, I would keep re my request cards, but I'm not gonna lie. I've grown not fond of the amazing rares, so I I may I may part with them. Looks like we're getting another eight five or nine here. Ten on corners. This is a joke. This is a joke. Not only <clears throat> am I not using Beckett because their customer service is garbage and uh, their data system is garbage. That's not an 8.5 centering. Both of my, both these requisas should have been 9.5s. Very confident in that, actually. Throw that on the ground. <clears throat> gold, gold. Nine fives. Nine fives on not shining. On not shining. I mean, maybe there's a 10. Maybe there's a 10. So let's see what caused this to be a 9.5. <sighs> so, surface. For a Japanese card to have surface that's lower, that is impressive because Japanese cards have immaculate surfacing. Gem Mint 9.5. I'll take it. I'll take it. Another 9.5. So, surface again. Interesting. Interesting. Some surface damage. Enough to make it a 9. These things are thick boys. What are you doing, cat? These are thick boys. Look at that. Look at that chipping down there. On that slab. These are crazy. I, I, I kind of like the design. I won't lie. I do, I, these are super thick, though, too. What do, you, what do you guys think of Beckett? I do have more stuff coming from Beckett. I have Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, and I'm probably gonna do a sports return as well, because my I, my dad had me submit some stuff for him. Wow, that is a very strong nine five. Ten surface, edges, corners, and centering is all. Just give it a black label, guys. I can't get a black label. Centering is slightly off on the back. Ugh. This is our first Beckett return. I hope the other ones go better. I really do. I got I to gotta think about it if I want these amazing rare cards. These are, whew, these are like my babies. I love these Shining Boys. I'm a little sad they got nines. They should have been nine fives. I could send them in to be reevaluated, but... That's uh, that's centering. I don't know if that's a that's not a that's not an eight five centering. And then this was also not an eight five centering. They're not even the same centering. Like there's there's no reason that they should have both got eight five centering. Hey, I'm I'm very salty about this, guys. Um. My overall experience with Beckett has not been good, though. So, if you want my opinion, uh, <clears throat> TGA is good. Uh, still new, so give them time to grow. Uh, but I still like PSA. Their customer service has always been good for me. Um, you get notified when your stuff arrives. I think that's the biggest thing is knowing that my stuff arrived there. Um well, that was a relatively short and kind of a disappointing video. I'm very sorry. Uh, but I wanted to share with you guys my uh, my experience and my Beckett return. Uh, this is the Pokemon one. We should see a Yu-Gi-Oh! one in either a Dragon Ball one separately or the Dragon Balls with the Yu-Gi-Oh! Or there's no Dragon Ball at all. It's just Yu-Gi-Oh! So, 
With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.